Hey guys, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Yeah, the old clock says it's five o'clock. Beer 30. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hello everybody and welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews. Today, thanks a bunch for stopping by. Today's beer comes from Lagunitas Brewing Company. This is their Mozango. Mozango. Uh, this was sent to me by Lagunitas. So uh, once again, thanks to uh, Karen for sending this out to me. Uh, they sent a little cheat sheet with this. And I will tell you right before we get started, guys. Beer Advocate doesn't have this beer listed. They have a, fu a fusion version of it which this one is not the fusion is a nine percenter this is a 7.7 percenter so they don't even have this listed it's a new release so i can understand that but untapped does have this beer listed so uh untapped seems to be more reliable source for everything nowadays so uh i'm up to the guys at untapped uh the note here that they sent says we're not ready to say goodbye to summer just yet which is why we're coming out with a brand spanking new handy 22 ouncer to quench our thirst. This limited release is a juicy concoction chock full of earthy floral mosaic and a pinch of citrusy, citrus piney Simcoe hops topped off with loads of fresh mango juice. It's a smooth and aromatic tropica, tropicalian punch right in the kisser. So, Mozango. All right, let's get on with this one. Uh, we're gonna have to rely on me and untapped on this one because Beer Advocate doesn't have it listed. Uh, like I said, 7.7%. Uh, it does have the IBUs listed at 55. Uh, the commercial description is a fairly long one so uh, I've already read what they've sent so that's probably good enough 7.7% .7 or 55 IBUs the only plus I have with Lagunitas is they use a dark black ink on a dark brown bottle which is virtually impossible to see while the beer is still in there that is my only plus with these guys uh, I would buy more of their stuff or or their stuff because I've quit buying it uh, because I can't see the date uh, any of you guys that follow me, I bought some Hot Stupid not long ago and couldn't see the date on it. Matter of fact, I bought a whole six pack of it because it's been about five or six years since I'd had it. And I got it home and opened up the first one and looked at the, and, and looked at the date and it was five months old. Uh, I got a problem with that, guys. So uh, I wish they would change their ink color. That would be my only fuss with these guys because they do make some really tasty beers. They really do. But that's upper management's decision not to do it. And... It's my management decision not to buy them. So until they can go with some kind of white, or yellow, or bright blue, uh, I'm not going to deal with this dark ink on a dark bottle. Can't see it. So, uh, other than that, they do some really tasty stuff, like I said. So we're going to get on with this one. I don't want this to be a hugely long video. And since Beer Advocate doesn't have it listed, uh, uh, the right one listed anyway, we can probably still use... Because I'm pretty sure this is probably considered an IPA. So we can still use the IPA food pairings for this. So. Let me get that up. Where we can see it. I'm not even seeing that. Well maybe they stopped doing that too. Hmm. Let me jump over here to this tablet and see. I apologize, guys. I should have had this ready, but since it was the wrong, the wrong one, let's see if I can get the food pairing it up on this tablet. Let 
No, looks like they have taken that off. Hmm. Well, a lot of people have been fussing about me reading the food pairings. So maybe it's history now. So it doesn't look like we're going to get to food pairings because they have taken it off of the site where I look, usually look and get that information while I'm pouring it. So it is what it is, guys. Let's pop the top on this one. First beer of the day, and it is a big, big bottle, 22 ounce. And the little styrofoam balls go everywhere. Because that's how they package it in styrofoam, and it is everywhere. Nice hisk, has, so it seems like it has a very nice carbonation. And these little balls, if you're not careful, they will be in your glass. <laughs> And I do not care to drink styrofoam. How about you? So, and it went all over the table, these little styrofoam balls. Anyway. Into the glass we go, guys. You have to deal with the food pairings yourself. So while I pour this, I'm going to pour it kind of more aggressive since I'm not reading to you the food pairings now. So... Nice, I don't know, it's not quite a finger of head, three quarters of a finger. Very clear beer, a nice amber color. Definitely a filtered beer here, guys. A lot of carbonation. It did have a good hiss when I popped the top on it because the styrofoam balls went everywhere that was under the cap. Good looking beer, it really is. To the nose we go. Very, very nice. A very nice floral hop aroma. Wow, very sweet smelling. Definitely getting some citrusy notes. And the mango is just off the chain, guys. Very nice tropical mango notes. Wow, wonderful aroma. Wow, very nice. Like I said, mango is off the chain. I mean, if you like mango, you're probably really going to like this. And if you don't, yeah, you're probably not going to like it. It's time. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Karen, and everybody at Lagunitas. Change the damn ink color. <laughs> very nice. Alcohol is very well hidden on that for almost 8%. Very smooth, nice and sweet. Very easy drinking. Very, very nice beer. Well, we got enough left in the bottle to pour her a glass, so that's what we're going to do. So, let's sip on it, and then I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. Got just a little left here. Awesome wasting is left on the glass. Looked at the bottle when I come back. Uh, the 229th day of 2018 is when it was put in this bottle, which, like I said, you ain't see that on there when it's got beer in it. Uh, shouldn't have to do that, guys. I mean, that's my biggest fuss with these guys at Lagunitas. Uh, and they do that intentionally. They do. They can change the color of it just like that. But they want to give it a longer shelf life. They don't want you to be able to see that. So that's my biggest fuss with these guys. Even though they do produce tasty beers, I want to see that date with the beer in it before I buy it. So uh, guess what it is, guys. Uh, I found it very tasty. It's not world class or outstanding. Uh, nothing to write home about, but it is a very tasty rendition of a mango infused IPA. It doesn't say it's an IPA, but I'm guessing that's what it is. It does have low IBUs, uh, 55, for what we're drinking. Very balanced. Very nice. Final chip. The mango is outstanding on this, and then it is off the chain, guys. Mango, mango on top of more mango. Delicious beer, guys. Uh, other than the date, it's an awesome beer, guys. Uh, I'm going to give it an A-. It's a 90 for me. Uh, like I said, Beer Advocate doesn't have it even listed yet, uh, or the right version anyway. And uh, over to Untapped, they have it at 3.89. That's in their B+. Plus. So I'm giving it a better grade than those guys. So, uh, I did find it very tasty. Uh, so, I don't think it's going to be a pricey beer to buy. But, uh, I just wish they would change the color of the ink. That's uh, 
that's my biggest bust. So if you've had this one, brand new release from Lagunitas or Mozango, let me know what you think, guys. Till we meet again, let's go see what's in the fridge.